it's Amy from Star Within Grace again and today I've got a very exciting video to do. Today I'm going to do a Boohoo haul. So I've bought from Boohoo many times in the past. They're one of my favourite places to go online shopping. But I thought I bought quite a lot this time so I wanted to share with you what I got because I thought you might find it interesting. Um, it took about a week to arrive. Um, it usually comes pretty fast like that. It came yesterday and ever since it arrived I have been dying to open it so let's get right into it. So this is the big bag that I have with everything in it. Alright, I can't wait. Let's open it. Okay. Okay, first thing is Sally Boxy Crop Top and Collot Cohort. So it's it's basically a black collot and crop top set. Okay, it's like a, this crepe material, which I couldn't really tell from the ad, but like, that's really cute. <laughs> um, I got the this in a size 10, because I tend to be a bit long in the torso, and collots like, like, kind of sit too high down there and often like give me budgies <laughs> so I, w I wouldn't mind like because it's elastic I didn't mind it being slightly bigger but like that looks really easy to wear and comfy I'm like super happy with that yeah the quality feels really good it's nice and like it's not a very thin material but it is like if you hold it up to the light you can see through it but you're not going to be able to see through it like when it's on. I'm so happy with that. Although it's one of those elastic bands that like don't feel like they're sewn in. So like when it goes through the wash, like the elastic band is going to twist. Like I hate it when it does that, right? Then you have to like spend all this time fixing it before you put it on, which is really annoying. Um, but other than that, it's really cute. But I do find that really annoying. Does anyone else find that annoying? Anyway. Uh, I will try that on and like so far I'm really happy. So first impressions are that the crop top is a little bit more cropped than I would have liked. It does sit a bit tighter on me I think than it did in the picture but to be honest the only reason I bought this cord set was for the culottes I didn't really care about the crop top I probably wasn't gonna wear them together anyway this is a little bit too much skin showing like it doesn't and like when I put my arms up you can sort of start to see the bottom of my bra the culottes are exactly what I wanted just really stretchy comfy easy but like they totally look professional and and really polished as well so I'm really happy with that they sit high enough without the crutch being too <laughs> you know what I mean I am really happy with them I think they were a really good buy even if I'm not completely convinced on the crop top obviously I'm gonna keep for the culottes anyway um, next thing uh, the Isla Ruffleham crop trouser in grey I also got this in a size 10 because it's again a sort of like culotte type thing with an elastic waist so I didn't mind it being slightly bigger because I I would normally wear a size 8. Oh, there's the ruffle hem. How cute is that? <laughs> okay so this this is like a thinner elastic and it actually looks like it's been like attached at the bottom so it's not going to like change in the wash which is how I much prefer it. So yeah, just like wide leg with, like wide leg trousers with this like plaid print. I think it'd just be really cute. The material is again like really nice and thick, obviously stretchy in this direction, but not in this direction, weirdly. <laughs> um, yeah, it might be a little bit thick, but I'll try it on and see. Okay, and then I bought this top, which I think would actually look really good with the ruffle hem trousers. It is the Tall Elise Je Dore slogan t-shirt in white. 
and I got it in a size small. So it is basically a white t-shirt with J'adore written in red across the front. I saw it on, a, on another YouTuber's video and I was like, that is so cute, I want that t-shirt. And I just happened to look it up in Boohoo and they had it, the exact t-shirt. I was like, score, I'm getting it. It does look like fairly big for a small. It is a tall, so I guess that means it's longer than it normally would be. I don't know that I'm, like, I mean, I am fairly tall. I'm five foot seven. But I wouldn't typically need to get, like, tall sizes. I'm, like, usually fine in normal sizes. But majority of the time I'll be tucking it in anyway. Probably, like, roll up the sleeves a little bit, like, hem them like this. That would be super cute. I cannot wait to wear that combo. Can you see that combo? How cute that would be? Then with some white sneakers. I think that'll be cute. I'm actually going to um, Italy and France in May, so next month. So a lot of this stuff, um, it's on my packing list as long as it fits me. So I kind of bought it all with like in mind to go to Paris in spring. <laughs> I think that would be a really cute Paris in spring outfit. So my first impression of these two items is that the shirt really is a tall size. It's quite long, it comes down to about here, which I really didn't need. I would never wear it untucked, I don't think. But I think tucked with like a bit of fold over, it looks fine. The sleeves were quite long too, which I think, like if you just left it like that, it's quite unflattering. But I don't mind it with them rolled up a little bit. Um, the neckline, like I probably would have preferred it if it was v-neck just because it flatters me better, but it's a pretty standard white t-shirt. You can't really go too wrong. I'm pretty happy with it. You can't go past your door when you're going to France. I love the pants. They are just so cute. The ruffle hem, like seriously, how can you not love that? Um, they fit really well, they're like really comfy, and yet again, like I think they look really polished. So I love pants that are just like, I could be wearing pajama pants, but I look put together and I am rocking it. <laughs> um, they are not very high waisted, I thought they would be a little bit more higher, and I think that would have looked better with the shirt, but that's alright. Like, I am pretty darn happy. <laughs> this is the Hannah High Rise Ripped Raw Hem Skinny Jeans in Black. I also got this in a size 10 because I find their high-waisted skinny jeans are just a little bit tighter than I would like to wear. They, like, first impressions are they look a little bit blue. It's kind of weird. It's what they look like. Like, kind of distressed down the front with the raw hem on the bottom. They don't look, like the legs don't look super long. I hope it's gonna fit me, like it's not gonna be too short. I think it, it's, it is a cropped hem, I'm pretty sure I read, so it can like sit above my ankles, but I don't want it to be too short. Good quality, like, I am so excited to try them on. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they should fit, like they're pretty stretchy as well. So it's all just a matter of trying them on. So, yes, these jeans are high-waisted. I'm so glad that these ones are because if they were low-waisted, I don't think I would have kept them. But like, there's my belly button and that's where it sits. Like, this is what high-waisted should be. I'm like, so in love with these. These are a little bit bigger than the other ones too, which is weird because they're exactly the same size, but these ones run bigger apparently love the distressed although putting them on is a bit like oop no wrong hole wrong hole wrong hole <laughs> you know how it is when you're wearing distressed jeans these are my favorite black jeans that i've ever worn so like super happy like there is nothing really i would complain about these for like these are exactly what i wanted them to be so it's awesome and then, as well as those jeans, I got some medium wash jeans. So these are the Abbey High Waist Destroyed Hem Skinny Jeans Mid Blue. 
All right, so I actually lost my favorite pair of jeans like after I did a photo shoot for the Facebook video. Can't find them anywhere and they were my favorite ever jeans. So I'm trying to replace them. I hope these are as good. <laughs> all right, these are just lightly distressed with a raw hem. They look good quality, stretchy, like, they look pretty good, but like, with jeans you can never really tell until you have them on, I find, so I'm reserving judgement to see whether they have replaced my favourite ever jeans. So, these jeans, um, they're not really high-waisted, like, my, my belly button is here. Like, to be high-waisted, I think they need to at least come up to here, right? Like, they're not low-rise, but they're definitely not high-waisted. And it definitely says high-waist on the label. So, that's a little disappointing because I really like my high-waisted jeans. But, other than that, like, I do like the look of them. I like the really light distressing and I love the hem. Glad I got the size 10 though, they are a bit tight. I feel like with denim though, like they stretch a little bit when you wear them and like these are really stretchy jeans. So, I don't know, I'm gonna keep them, but I don't know that they completely replaced my favorite jeans that I lost. I think I just have one more thing. I don't know what this is. All right, so these are the Rain Premium Lace Up Slide Side leather look okay let me say that again rain premium lace up side leather look in a size 10 i'm pretty sure yes so i've had um my leather leggings got way too thin and i had a rather embarrassing moment with them a while back so i've been on the lookout for a replacement i wanted something with the fabric that was a little more thicker and was definitely not ever going to get to the point where it was see-through because that's never a good look. So I went with these. They were a little bit different because they had the lace upside detail. But it's hard to tell without seeing them on. Okay, like I was not sure if they were going to sort of look like leggings, but these are more like trousers, which is what I wanted. But I think you could also wear them under a dress as leggings and they would still work. So, they're a little bit sticky. Obviously, not real leather. I like that. It's a little bit stretchy, which is good. And it has like the, um, what's the word? The zip that you can't see. What is it called? Like the hidden zip? I can't remember what it's called. Far out. Mind blank. Anyway, you know what I mean. The hidden zip at the back. <laughs> and then they have these cool lace up details on the sides at the bottom. I think that will look really cool. Oh wow, these like, these are really soft material on the inside. These are gonna be so nice for winter. They're gonna keep me nice and warm. Like the fabric is thin but like the inside is this like really soft like fabric that kind of feels like it's going to be warm and obviously with leather it doesn't really breathe so it's going to be nice and warm. I'm really happy with these. I think I like these in person better than I did for the picture on the website. So I am really keen to try these on. Last pair of pants, my leather leather look lace up ones and I'm pretty happy with them too like they felt super weird putting putting them on there especially this bit like it's really stretchy they're really comfy I like I love how the material feels on the inside so it, it doesn't feel like you're wearing leather pants on the inside if that makes sense <laughs> which makes it a lot more comfortable and I love the lace up detail it just looks so cool um, it's like high-waisted as well, 
which I wasn't sure if it was going to be because the picture wasn't exactly clear. They sit pretty skin tight, so they could totally be worn as leggings, but I think they're alright as pants, like trousers as well, which is what I wanted. Like, they're not going to be see-through, which is again very important. So yeah, like really successful haul. I'm pretty happy. I just keep slapping my thighs. So I am so happy with all of the pieces in my haul. That like rarely ever happens. I usually have to return at least one piece, but Boohoo make it really easy. So you just like put it all back in the, in the bag. It was sent in, sticky tape back up again and send it away. Um, you do have to pay though, which I don't love. So like you're losing $6 or $8, 6 or $8, I don't know, if you have to return something. So, but I am super happy. I love all of it. I think it's all really good quality and I will get really good wear out of it. And I'm pretty sure I'm taking pretty much every single piece on my trip to France with me, which is what I wanted. I wanted pieces that were neutral, that were classy, that were comfortable that I could take to France with me. So I'm so happy with my Boohoo haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe. I will be doing more hauls in the future, so stay tuned for that, as well as many other videos. Uh, if you want me to do any particular store, I am completely up for that. Leave me a comment. Um, I will see you next time.